Dayton Regional STEM School, students create web-based portfolios documenting their growth from 7th grade on. The portfolio is a collection of student work reflecting an individual student's progress, activities, and achievements both academically and professionally during their time at DRSS. I think portfolios are important because I think that they help um, students demonstrate um, what they think is important and also what they have learned and that's not always what the teacher expects for them to get out of something and so it's something that's individual um, in the sense that it's, it's their own learning that they're showcasing to others. It also emphasizes work that demonstrates the school's five qualities, persistence, inquiry, communication, creativity, and collaboration. I think you should try to explain how it applies to the real world. I clearly people show. may not know how persistence, I mean they may know what persistence communication is, but they won't you could know how it relates to our school on your food. or how it can relate to like outside the house. <laughs> the qualities are a part of the portfolio because the five qualities, communication, collaboration, creativity, inquiry, and persistence are just part of STEM itself and in each project or assignment you do, you grow in each of the qualities. So in your portfolio, you want to show how you grow. Well, I think the portfolios really allow the students to articulate their learning in a way that is outside of our typical measurement, which would be sort of like standardized testing. It's a way to really capture some more of the 21st century skills that we're trying to teach and be able to um, understand where they are in that process and um, it's a great tool that teachers can use um, for reflection in the classroom um, as well as assessment. Portfolios at the Dayton Regional STEM School are web-based and designed through Wix.com. Students begin designing the structure of their websites in 7th grade and continue to build upon them into their senior year. Especially now that our portfolios are web-based our students understand that their work is public and they care about how it looks whether it's to their parents to other teachers to their friends everybody's working on a web-based portfolio all of those portfolios look and feel very different because they should feel like the students creating them and so they work they and they care very much about it representing who they are it's just important. Uh, at STEM, we want to get our work out there, and I think this definitely does help get our work out there, having it on the web. I have to communicate with people to tell them what the project is, what my goals are, and what I'm trying to accomplish. And I have to listen to them so they can give me feedback so I know what to do next. And they also have to communicate that. In the seventh grade, Students are guided through the process as part of their STEM Foundations course, which instructs fundamental design skills as well as the STEM essential processes of critique, craftsmanship, and communication. Students learn to invest in a thorough writing process, reflecting on their classroom projects and prolonged learning endeavors by initially brainstorming connections to the five qualities and documenting their requirements, steps, and successes of possible portfolio-worthy endeavors. So like through all those like drafts, you really got to actually know the project more than the other projects that we've done. So I might like, I'll probably remember one of my projects from seventh grade more than I will one that I didn't write about. In each entry, students also include a variety of project artifacts, like planning materials, work drafts, and written feedback. Celebrating both the moments of success and the learning process, as well as the moments of struggle and failure. These connections and articulations are supported through a variety of activities in the STEM Foundations course. Students access this level of thinking through direct instruction, writing to learn strategies, pair and share activities, skits and improvisation, collaborative and individual brainstorming, peer critique interventions in small groups, in large group critique sessions that will involve a whole class of students and teacher. I just think that for Rachel, I noticed um, a real kind of ability to learn how to sort of organize what she had done, to really stop and take reflection, which I think is important, and to look back on what she had done, 
figure out maybe where some of her strengths are and some of her weaknesses are, and that will only serve to um, improve her education and improve who she is as a person as she goes forward. The greatest growth this year has definitely been understanding the concepts and material learning each day. I use a variety of strategies to do this, including creating a curriculum that is aligned At the end of the seventh grade year, students prepare a formal presentation of their portfolio in front of community business partners administrators, teachers, and students of all levels at the school. This presentation represents the unveiling of their work from that year and commences the portfolio process that will continue for the next four and a half years. In the fixing has, I can go to somebody and I can ask for feedback to help make my work. I think just having our own website in seventh grade impresses them. How professional it looks, I think that impresses them. In that time, students will continue to add yearly to their portfolios, documenting and commemorating the projects that are most personally meaningful and have the greatest impact on their overall growth. Over the years, what I think it's showing is the students' growth over the years. If you look at the ninth graders' portfolios, who they started it two years ago, you're going to see tremendous growth in just in their, in their writing, in their reflection, um, and what they can do. So I think it really does show that over the years, how much students have um, grown. It also shows them, I think it shows them the amazing work that they've done over the years. I think it's also really important because so many jobs are now requiring portfolios and so many um, employers want to see people's portfolios. I think it's really an amazing skill for the kids to have that's again going to go beyond just our school and our classroom and kids can really show off and brag about the work that they're doing um, and I think that's a really important life skill for them to be able to have to be able to show someone this is the work that I'm capable of producing. Um, I think that's going to be beneficial for them. I'm going to just want to add on to it over and over again and eventually like once I get I need a job, you know, I'll use this as like a resume and they'll probably think it's really cool because I've done this like since seventh grade. By the senior year, students are able to add reflections of their internship experiences, statements regarding future aspirations, and college application materials. The portfolio becomes a resume tool they can continue to build in their professional lives. You can say, oh, and I'm, I'm interested in you know, working with this engineering firm, so I'm going to point them to some of my science or math projects specifically, and maybe a English project where I show that I'm a good communicator, I'm a good collaborator, wherever those projects are, uh, to start learning that skill of, of marketing yourself, which in this day and age is what you have to do. If the teachers don't all buy into it, then there's a culture where you're allowed to not buy into it. And so I really think um, the school has to create a way that portfolios are going to work for the school. It might not look the same in school A versus school B, but it has to be created in a way that is going to be beneficial for the school, for the teachers, and for the students.